Hello everyone, so you have bought yourself a Dimplex Optimist Fire. I have got the Optimist Bayport model, but you're having problems with the mist or the flames not working. Now, what I'm hoping to do in this video is I'm gonna take you step by step around what to do if your flames aren't working, maintaining and cleaning your fire, um, and replacing the transducer and potentially the lamps at the back of your fire. So I hope this video will help you with those initial steps to see if we can get your fire working again. So a couple of months ago, this is what happened to me. So that what happened was that the mist started to sort of decrease. So even though I was using the buttons to increase the flame size or the mist size, um, actually it was just started to die away and eventually there were no flames coming up at all and I really wanted to try and resolve it. So you should be cleaning your Optimus fire every two weeks and that's really, really important because of um, water, it creates deposits um, inside the fire that can stop it from working. So it's really important that you keep on top of that. Um, also, if you're not using it for more than two weeks, then you should take it apart, clean all of the pieces, dry it all out and put it back together and unplug it while you're not using it. So I have shared a video about how to maintain your Optimist fire, but I actually need to clean my fire today. Um, so I'm going to do that quickly and just take you through what I'm going to do. So one of the first things is obviously to take out the tank and this needs a really good clean. All I do is pop a little bit of fairy liquid in there or, or other um, washing up liquid, pop a little bit in, give it a sort of a clean around and give it a shake around um, and make sure that it's clean inside. And then I take it out and I just clean it and, and I air dry it. I think it's also really, really important just to make sure that you clean around the cap really, really well. And it's got a little spring on it. So just make sure that that's depressing properly, that there's nothing stuck underneath this little kind of um, washer that's inside. So make sure that that's all cleaned. I get a little toothbrush and make sure that that's properly cleaned and all in around there and the spring. This is really, really important because this is what pushes down and allows the water to go down into the tank underneath. So actually this all needs to be working properly. If that bit doesn't work, if that isn't depressing properly, then you would need a new one um, because if that doesn't work, then, then the water isn't going to go down properly and your fire is not going to work. So it's really important just to check all of that, make sure it's all working, make sure there's nothing stuck in under there, um, give it all a really good clean and make sure it's working properly. So I have taken off the orange tank, um, as I showed you, and I've taken that away to be cleaned. Um, before I take anything else out of here, what I like to do is switch off the fire at the plug and unplug it as well. So I took out this top part and then I need to take out um, the transducer. So at the moment there's my tank and you'll see that it's full of water and there is the transducer and there is the wire. So that all needs to come out with the bottom part of the tank. So this part here I'm going to pull that out and then I can easily pull out the transducer. Now this is often the reason why your fire isn't working. It's really important to give this a really good clean, particularly around here. And I like to use, can you see that there's a little bit of discoloration on the white area? Now, those are deposits, so they need to be cleaned off. I like to use, again, this, this bit doesn't come off or this, so I just use a toothbrush and some washing up liquid and I go through and give that a really good clean and I dry it and then all of those deposits will go. So even though I use filtered water in my tank, there are still water deposits on my transducer. Now, if your fire has stopped working and the mist is not coming up, then one of the first things that you need to do after you've cleaned it 
is actually replace this piece, the transducer. When I contacted Dimplex and explained that I had no mist coming from my Optimist, it was under warranty and Dimplex actually sent me a new transducer to try. If you don't have a warranty for your Dimplex Fire, then you can easily get these from Amazon, from eBay, you can get them from spare parts companies, really very, very cheaply. So if your fire isn't working and you've given it all a really good clean, then change the transducer first and see whether that is the reason why your fire isn't working. Okay, so I've taken out the um, transducer. I'm now going to take out the bottom tank and it does have water in it, so just be really careful when you're taking it out to make sure you don't slosh the water around inside the fire. I'm gonna take that out and give it a really good clean. I don't know if you can see, but actually there are, I can see some little black spots inside on the plastic, so that does need a good clean, and I think I've probably been using my fire for just over two weeks, so I need to make sure I give that a really good clean and a good dry. The other thing that I want to clean, and I hope you can just see that in here, is in front of the fan is a little filter pad. And all I do is get my hoover and basically pop it on and then give it a bit of a hoover and make sure that any dust has come out of this filter. And then I pop it all back together. The other thing that I like to do is just to go in gently with my hoover and get up any dust that is sitting in around any of the elements or the lamps um, and to make sure that um, that's all clean. So now I'm gonna put my um, Optimus Fire back together. I've cleaned this out. I actually ended up using um, a cotton bud just to go through and clean all the little areas and there were some little sort of black deposits in there so that was really important to do. And at this point, um, this is when you need to look at the shape um, of where the transducer sits. So there's a little tab on it and it actually needs to sit right down into there. Um, so just be mindful of that. You might like to pop that in first just to make sure that you've got that in um, properly before you put it in. So I would pop the bottom bit of the tank in now and that's when I'm gonna find that little plug. So this is the end of the transducer and for me, there's a little plug behind the fan and it needs to be plugged into there. It's not very clear on the instructions, but it fits in, you push it in as far as it will go. So just to do a close up, it's really, really important that this wire is in no way covering the white disc that you can see on the transducer. So I like to make sure that the wire is fully out of the way and pushed into this little slot on the edge of the bottom of the tank. So that is really, really important. It might be a reason why your fire isn't working. So just make sure that that wire is pushed away. Obviously, I've got a little bit of excess here and that is absolutely fine. Just make sure that it doesn't get in the way of the actual transducer in there. So that should be sitting in there, plugged in, and then I'm going to put the top part of the tank on now. If you've gone through all the motions, you've cleaned it all, you've put it back together again, you've put your, your filter water in and it's the mist still isn't working, then switch it on and just see whether all of these lamps are working. That's really important because obviously the lamps are what enable you to see the mist that comes out of here and if that's the case it might be that you need to actually replace one or more of the lamps so that you can see the mist. So I'm just popping back um, the tank I've, I've made sure that the orange tank is filled with the um, filter water. I use a Brita water filter. And before I put it in, I'm just gonna make sure that that spring is definitely working okay. I've given everything a really good clean and I'm gonna pop that um, back in and you will be able to hear the water going down into the bottom tank. And in case you're wondering, that does happen that the water will come out whilst the 
um, fire is being used because obviously the bottom tank needs to be replenished so you will occasionally get this kind of bubbling noise but you do get used to it. So once that's finished what I um, like to do is obviously pop the um, holes back in and then it's important to leave it about 15 minutes before you turn the fire on mainly because the it needs to just reset itself particularly if you've put a new transducer in there um, and then it will hopefully work when you set it going so you've replaced the transducer and still your flames um, are not working and the mist isn't working um, there is one other thing that you can do at this point um, and that is sometimes not quite enough water has gone down to fully cover the transducer um, and what you can do is actually just take your tank out your orange tank and just put a little bit more water down there and I only mean a little bit like a less than like half a centimeters worth just to make sure that the sump down the bottom the transducer is fully covered in water because if it isn't then the mist won't work and I, I must admit I did that when um, I replaced the transducer just needed a smidge more water to get going and then once I put the tank back in it all worked okay so just give it a little bit of a top up of water and it might be that that is the problem um, if it still doesn't work um, you've replaced the transducer, you've cleaned it all, you've checked for the lamps, then there is something else that you can do and that is to actually replace the fan. Now I have made a separate video about how to diagnose and then replace the fan which I will link with a card and also link um, in the description for this video. So I hope this video has helped you try to just troubleshoot and get your Optimist Fire um, working again. If it is the transducer, then that's a really easy replacement to make. But just to emphasize, it's also really, really important to make sure that you keep it clean and make sure that the different parts don't end up having deposits on it because it can affect um, the mist that your fire produces. So as I said, join me in the other video. If you're still having problems, then it could be the fan and I will just show you and take you step by step on how to replace the fan also. Thank you all for watching and I'll be seeing you again soon. Bye.